Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. Um, if you guys seen my last video, you saw that I was working on this oak log that I had here in the backyard. Well, it was a tree I had removed, but um, and I had a second log. I did the first one before. Uh, this is the second log. I sliced the top off of it um, last week. And uh, then I decided, eh, might as well make this log into a video too. I was cutting that. I did a much different technique with the wedges, putting the wedges in there really, really tight um, to kind of pry the wood up as I cut. Seemed to cut quite a bit better. And when I pulled the saw out, this, this side came up. So it was getting pulled up the whole time, which was nice. Um, seemed to cut well, just starting into this log though. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so that worked much better and I was keeping the saw at a consistent angle and just kind of getting it right in the sweet spot and just keeping it right there. And I'm hoping this cuts a lot smoother than my last ones, um, but we're going to find out. So that looks a lot smoother. Oh, right through here is some pretty good bumps, but it looks pretty good. Right. So free mill, made it myself in about 15 minutes. Super easy. I didn't make a video on that because I mean, it can't really get any easier than just a board with bolts and some blocks of wood and a handle. Um, it's the simplest thing of all time, really. So. Yeah, and it cut some beautiful slabs. So I got another slab off of there, um, sharpened my saw in between cuts uh, while well, I started into it a little bit and then I was like, ah, oh, it's not going, I was sharpening it. So I sharpened it right at about a 10 degree angle, um, cut real well. And I left that, that wedge in there at the end for a long, long time and then it started to really bind. I brought the wedges down here and pounded them in real, real well, like deep. So it was pulling up on it, pulling up on it so hard. When I got here to the end, it straight up pulled up. And uh, that was, well, that was great. So it was pinching in my last video, I think, because it was cutting much better um, being pried up the whole time. So that's a tip for you guys if you try this. If you got a saw, just make one of these mills. I mean, this thing is so awesome. Um, to be able to make these boards is just like, amazing really let's see what we got here oh it's so heavy i can't even tip it that looks absolutely fantastic that looks like my best slab yet Nice character, kind of a crack though, I guess. Nice character, that grain and very smooth. So I'm figuring out how to keep it smooth by just not moving the saw side to side um, and just kind of not pushing too hard, just keeping it right in that smooth, consistent flow. I'm gonna get this log raised up and uh, 
yeah probably end the video here really you guys don't need to see a lot of these slabs it's kind of a waste of time um but yeah if you guys could like and subscribe that'd be awesome um i'm actually planning my first dugout if the snow would ever melt in the mountains here um and yeah if you guys want to see that sort of thing please like and subscribe thank you very much